boys. Thanks, guys. <laughs> All right. What is this? Is that some sort of create squad button? And now what happens? Oh, my goodness. That's your cue, Hugh. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> I, I don't know. So one of the big features about the commander tag is you now can actually get, like, a whole squad of guys. When you actually have your squad, you can actually organize them. You can separate them. You can do all these things. It'll also show supply for World We World. <laughs> so squads already existed. Yes. But this is, I would say, enhanced squad functionality. Yes, yes. enhanced squad functionality is a great way to put it. I agree. <laughs> I think uh, up in the top left there, you can actually see a little bit uh, of the the amount of uh, supply the squad currently has. You can see the squad now has one member. Yep. Um, you'll also notice, uh, conveniently in hidden in that UI, is a new profession icon. Uh, for the one of the elite professions, uh, I believe that is the Berserkers elite That's profession correct. icon. Yeah, and you, you can blame me. I accidentally put that in there, but <laughs> well done, Jeff. Colin graciously said we could leave it in. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Colin. So you can uh, you can set an open squad. You can set a squad by invite, uh, and you can set a closed squad as well. Uh, yes. So you have a lot of control over your squad now. One of the coolest features about this is your squad can now show UI for up to 50 squad members if you are hosting a world versus world squad. 50 people in the same squad. And, I actually, the most cool thing about this whole thing is that every group that you make, or every subgroup, because you can make up to 15, I believe, yes, uh, actually retains the functionality of a group in that any skill that you cast, uh, for example, like if you want to use a uh, shout, which applies uh, boons to your party, it'll actually use that subgroup to apply those boons. So uh, it, it prioritizes people in your subgroup as if they were your party. Exactly. Yeah, this is huge. And you'll, you will have seen early on when we selected what type of squad it was. We picked from a large squad or a raid squad. Uh, Crystal is going to come tomorrow and tell you a lot more about raids in Guild Wars 2 and tell you a little bit more about how raid squads work as well to support that content. Um, but what we're showing you now is the 50-player squad. In particular, we designed this to support commanders in World vs. World. But this also works in the open world as well. So those of you who battle against a quaddle for your three-headed jungle worm of death, uh, you can also use this squad UI to organize huge groups of players for that content as well. Yeah, and uh, you know, look at this fancy UI. Scaling. Just I know. fancy, crazy technology. But uh, it actually does bring up one thing I want to mention. is that uh, So this iteration that we're showing you right now is actually an older version uh, of the squad UI. We've actually made some updates since then. So it's not, I would say, representative of the final product as it's already been iterated on multiple times since then. Uh, kind of a living design, but uh, I think the, the base functionality there of actually being able to meaningfully manage your pro your party and your all, everyone in your guild or your, uh, I mean, your what do we, what's the actual word? Squad. The squad. The squad. squad yep. So up to 50 members. Yep. Uh, it's actually pretty cool. Yeah, it's be yeah. great for guild missions, too. Uh, you can see the health there in green. Uh, people who are grayed out are far enough away that they're not registering to your squad or they're in a different map. Um, you'll actually notice, we'll go through a few more things here in the UI in a second, uh, features that come along with this brand new squad UI. Uh, in particular, shout out to, uh, to Trevor, uh, who's been working on this project for quite a long time, building the UI for this. Uh, yeah. And uh, I, think, uh, I think Brandon has been helping, and John has been helping a little bit get this yep. ready, too. Yep. Um, you can see we just made a sub-squad right there, and the supply spits out. And you can see how much supply each sub-squad has and the entire big squad. Yeah, exactly. I mean, this is going to be huge for World v. World players. Not only going to be able to organize, organize in the subgroups, maintain you know the the same boon and buff uh, priority of your party, but you will be able to see who has what supply. So commanders are going to be able to tell, hey, you know what? I'm going to move you guys down. Your guys are going to go out and go do this thing. You're going to get supply. You guys are going to be the roamer group, and they can all monitor that through this UI. Oh yeah, absolutely. I mean, even like when you're in, uh, so if you're doing a large scale fight, you might have a group that's like your spike group. Yep. That's specifically going to be riding on the outskirts of a fight and going in on things. Being able to actually sort them down and put them in, you know exactly what each one of these sub-squads is doing is going to be huge. And exactly. you can send a message to your squad, as we just showed off there, and you can fire off messages to your squad or to your sub-squad to give commands to everybody who's in that, that group. Right across the middle of the screen. That's right. As well as we got right here going showing is a ready check. So when you're starting out in World of Your World, you want to make sure everyone's ready to go. Because you know a lot of people getting their buffs ready, making sure everything's ready to go, the bags are empty. You fire that off, everybody readies up. It gives you the command, and you're ready to go. Yeah, I think like, before it's been such like, a burden on like, a commander to like, know exactly what the, the formations of each uh, party that he's got in his raid. Exactly. Or in his, uh, you know, I guess in his, his squad. squad. Like, there was no actual visual UI to represent that. So I was really re relying on them to have that almost memorized and know exactly what everyone's doing at any given time. Yep. But this, I mean, being able to know where everyone is, being able to sort them into groups, like you said before, like some of these guys just might be your habit group, right? Yeah, exactly. And you send them out on very specific tasks. Yep. And you can manage so many more people now. It's actually almost like a new, 
I mean, it's definitely going to be a powerful tool for commanders, and the commanders who can use this correctly and to its fullest extent are going to be the ones that are you know far above, far and above everyone else. Yep. Yep. Yeah, I think I just think the strategic uh, layer that this adds for them is huge. You know, like you said, it's being able to split out those havoc groups and know who's in them and understand how they're doing, see their health, be able to recognize even the supply within those subgroups. That's uh, yep. it's it's a game changer, I think, for for world versus world. Uh, oh yeah. For, being able to really organize these huge groups of players, uh, and we're going to keep adding functionality to this as well. Um, you know, this is just this is a key part of the Guild Wars 2 experience, and uh, we're, you know, like you said, this is this is a little behind what the actual development that you'll see is. Um, also, really exciting. This is in the beta weekend that we just announced earlier today. So next beta week weekend three, oh. Oh. <laughs> beta weekend three next weekend, you can play with this brand new squad UI in World versus World. You can yep. play with it out in the open world. Um, and like I said, Crystal will tell you a little bit more about what this means to raids as well. Yeah, it's awesome stuff. It's going to be a uh, lot of fun. So we've got uh, one 